Welcome to this comprehensive session on Optical Transport Network or OTN. Optical Transport Network. A powerful backbone technology that lies at the heart of modern telecom infrastructure. Whether you are an engineer maintaining fiber optics, uh, a NOC level 1 monitoring engineer uh, managing live traffic or a student diving into advanced transmission systems. This lecture will help provide you with deep practical insights into how OTN works, how it's structured and why it's essential for scalable high speed networks. What is OTN? OTN or is a digital transport technology defined by the ITUT under the G.709 standard designed client signals like Ethernet SDH or fiber channel into a standard frame and into a standard frame and deliver them over optical fiber with strong error correction It's strong error correction and powerful monitoring tools. Think of ATM, think of OTN as a smart free train. Each container that is each client signal each container that is each client signal is wrapped with tracking information with tracking information and protection features then loaded into a high speed truck the optical fiber high speed track the optical fiber So OTN is governed by several key ITU standards, okay, uh, G.709 for framing, G.872 for architecture 
and g dot seven nine eight for functioning. Over time, OTN has evolved from support from supporting ten G to carrying hundred G, two hundred G, and even four hundred G coherent signals. Evolved. Supporting NG two carrying hundred G two hundred G and even four G coherent signals. One of the most valuable evolutions is audio flex a flexible container that adjust to the clients civil container just to the client exact bandwidth needs OTN architecture the OTN architecture includes three main layers first the client layer which could be Ethernet, SDH, or fiber channel. Second, the OTN layer. This is where we wrap the client signal. client signal into ODU K add overhead forward error correction and form the complete TUK frame. Third, the optical channel layer where the signal is modulated onto a wavelength and carried over fiber together these layers allow OTN to offer transparency manageability and scalability across the network now components of OTN Let's break down the core building blocks OTU K Optical Transport Unit. The complete signal ready to be launched onto fiber. Complete signal number two ODU K optical data unit this holds
client signal with added overhead uk payload unit where the actual client data sets fec is forward error correction improves improves signal integrity over long distances and you flex a flexible container or variable clients these layers are processed by transponders or mux ponders in modern ot and gear like Huawei's osn 9800 okay electrical versus optical OTN is divided into two domains the electrical layer and the optical layer electrical layer and grooming multiplexing cross connections at the ODU K level the optical layer deals with WDM channels okay deals with <clears throat> WDM channels rodams optical switching in practice your OSN devices will use both electrical for service mapping and optical for fiber level transmissions so in the next video uh, i will start from the sixth uh, point for multiplexing hierarchy thank you very much for watching